Hey guys, it's Joanne Bateman and welcome back to Times of Refreshing with Joanne Bateman. I am so excited about something and I wanted to just pop on real quick. I'm not going to stay very long, but today is Rosh Hashanah. Rosh Hashanah. I am so excited about today. I sat before the Lord this morning and had a quiet time and the Lord reminded me that it is Rosh Hashanah. And Rosh Hashanah is the Jewish New Year. And of course, you're looking at this brown melanated skin. You're like, okay, ma'am, you're not Jewish and you would be accurate. I am not born Jewish. However, I am adopted into the Jewish family by my relationship to Jesus Christ, who is my Savior and my Lord. And therefore, I am an adopted heir of salvation, glory to God, and an adopted heir into the Jewish family. And so I am observing Rosh Hashanah um, in my way on today. And what's exciting to me is this. The Lord began to help me understand a little bit about it. So it is it is the Jewish New Year, and it's one of the high holy days in the Jewish community. However, it also is the time that the Jewish people celebrate um, Adam and Eve's creation. And so I thought that was different because I hadn't heard that before. Anytime I've heard people talk about Rosh Hashanah, I never heard it mentioned in relation to being a celebration of Adam and Eve being created. And so it also symbolizes and represents um, the time that God initiated uh, humanity into creation, right? And started his relationship with humanity. That's huge. And so the thing that I wanted to share with you guys on today was this, that with Rosh Hashanah being the Jewish New Year, it's an opportunity for repentance and starting fresh. And so what I heard in my spirit this morning is um, there may be some of you who, and I know for myself this rings true, there may be areas in your life where you need a reset. You just need to start fresh. This is the time. This is the opportunity to start fresh. You may need to start fresh in your marriage. You may need to start fresh in your parenting. You may need to start fresh with your relationship with your boss on your job. There could be a whole host of areas. You may need to start fresh in the way you care for your body, doing self-care. Whatever it is, today being Rosh Hashanah, the Jewish New Year, it's a fresh start. It's a new opportunity to go forth and to, um, first of all, repent, right? Because we know, I know personally that repentance brings about a breakthrough. So when we repent, we confess our sins. We confess all the things that we know that we may have, um, we're aware of that we may have um, done to dishonor God or displease God, miss the mark. We repent for those things. And then we provide an opening for God to uh, come in and set us on the right path. And it gives us a new beginning. So repent, right? That's the first thing we want to do today. And then we want to believe God for something brand new. You know, put our trust in God. Trust him for something that you've been believing him for. Trust him again. Believe him again. Hit the reset button, guys. This time last year, um, when Rosh Hashanah hit in 2021, that was the time when God told me that he was making all things new for me. For me personally, and that's when um, he began to uh, set me on a course to lose weight and to gain control of my health. And so it's been a whole year and I've managed to keep those 25 pounds lost, keep them off. And so I'm excited and I know that God is faithful. I know that God has something so grand and so great for me and for you, this Rosh Hashanah. So my encouragement to you today. Repent, get excited, set your sights on something new, fresh, something that you're believing God to do for you in your life. And then just hope for it. Expect God to do it. Know that this is a new start today. Whatever happened yesterday is over. Old things are passed away. The word of God says, behold, all things are new. 
Today is the Jewish New Year, Rosh Hashanah. Believe God for something brand new. Hit the reset in your life. Hit the reset button. Amen. God bless you guys. Enjoy your Rosh Hashanah. Have an amazing, amazing day in the Lord. God bless you.